In a late-breaking development, the Transportation Board has announced the discovery of new evidence in the crash of Transglobal's flight number 149. The investigative team has disclosed that analysis of a scrap of luggage from that flight has revealed chemical residue consistent with an explosive powerful enough to have blown the plane from the air. This revelation has led the FBI to reopen its investigation of possible criminal involvement in the air disaster of last August. I didn't do it. It wasn't those turbine blades. It wasn't my fault. It wasn't my fault! <laughs> oh, this has been great. Did you see the look on Kashana's face? Oh. Did you see the look on Grace's face? I don't know who was more excited. <laughs> it was great. Listen, thank you for closing down holidays and donating the space all day. Oh. Well, it was no, great. No, no, if Corlin Electronics can spring for those scholarships, the least we can do is uh, give him a place to party. Well... Hey, and Miles Christopher was responsible for the scholarship fund? Looks like you were right about him. He's good people. Mm. <laughs> oh, my ears are burning. Oh, my mother says that means someone's talking about you. Well, your mother was right. We were just lauding your generosity. Really? All of you? You should be recognized. Liza, we just went over mm -hmm. this. We're not in this for the publicity. Well, let's oh. not be too hasty. I'm just saying that you set an example that other corporations might want to make a commitment yeah. to education, to mentoring. And of course, the cutting edge would be a vehicle. Ah. For such oh, a you're so oh. smart. Of course. <laughs> the cutting edge. What, what a great idea. Good <laughs> photo if I've ever seen one. Everybody get a little closer, okay? Oh, I got to say, higher education, everybody. <laughs> Hey, why the sour faces? Did you hear? It wasn't my fault. What are you doing out of the hospital? That doesn't matter. It wasn't my fault. Adam, what are you talking about? Who cares? It was, it was just announced. The Transportation Board has found new evidence in the crash of Flight 149. It was on television. Didn't anyone see it? Listen, we're having a private party here. It's closed. Why don't you leave? Dad, come on. I'll take you back to the No, hospital. he got here fine. He can leave on his own. It was a fragment of luggage with a, with a trace of plastic explosive. He's delusional. Shut up, Palmer. Liza, you have to believe me. Why should anyone believe you? Please don't start with him. He's not himself. No, this is another act for you and Liza. That's yeah, it's a desperate is. act of a desperate man. Adam, please, leave us now. Damn it, turn on the television if you don't believe me. It's, all, it's the lead story. Throw him out, Mateo. Dad, please. Well, why don't we just turn on the TV and we can find out what's going on? Sad, sad, really. Witness the decline of a pig. Of this special report. There is new evidence in the investigation of Transglobal Airlines flight number 149, the commuter flight that went down in August, leaving only four survivors. The investigation had pointed to substandard turbine blades as the probable cause. However, the Transportation Board is now reinvestigating its original theory. Of the luggage fragment revealed traces of a plastic explosive. The Transportation Board will issue a statement later this afternoon. So stay tuned for more coverage on the update of Transglobal Flight. Well, you see, it wasn't me. I thought they closed the book on the investigation. Well, they did. You heard the report, they found new evidence. That's convenient. It wasn't because of faulty parts. There must have been an explosion in the luggage compartment. I wish. No, I don't wish, Mateo. I wish I could wake up and find this was all a terrible dream. I wish I'd never heard of Corview or Transglobal Airlines. That makes two of us. But that plane would not have gone down if there hadn't been an explosion. Alleged explosion. The transportation department is ruling on it now. We'll soon see, won't we? We'll all see. I... I can't begin to tell you what it feels like 
believe you've been responsible for all those deaths. Oh, you care about your bottom line. But don't worry, Chandler Enterprises won't go belly up anytime soon. This has nothing to do with Chandler Enterprises. This has to do with waking up in the middle of the night and thinking about all those people and all those families. Mateo, I knew Maria very well. I had nothing but admiration and respect for her. It tears me apart knowing she died on that plane. No, no. See, that was a plane that you owned. It was maintained by a company I owned. That's right, that's right. true. I acted irresponsible. Which makes you responsible. So don't try to duck out again. Somebody planted a bomb on that plane. It went down because of an explosion. Oh, yeah, right. We're back to that again. Stay off now, huh? Haley. Haley, what do you think? Do you believe that it's possible that I'm not to blame? Liza. Liza. This has to make a difference. We have another chance. A chance to start over. To pick up the pieces and build ourselves a life together. Stronger than ever. But you have to give me another chance. Will you give me that chance? You do believe me. It doesn't matter. It matters to me. It matters to us. It wasn't my fault, Liza. It's true. I believe that it's possible that you're not completely responsible. Thank you. That changes everything. For Flight 149, it doesn't change what happened to me. That you didn't ground the plane, it, it doesn't change what happened to our child what happened to our marriage. As far as we're concerned, Adam, nothing's changed. Thank you for the day. Miles, uh, think about my offer, will you? Wait, wait, please, please. Not like this. Just give me, just give me five minutes, please. Should I have a restraining order drawn up? Well, it wouldn't stop him. Listen, Miles, was there ever any serious consideration given to this explosion theory? Because when I was in Washington, they had already ruled it out. All I know is that they looked into it, but they didn't have enough evidence to support it. Let me make a few phone calls. Miles, Miles, you're free and clear of this mess now. Free, perhaps, but I still have a cloud hanging over me. I've got to clear it up once and for all. Have it your own way. I'm heading back to the office. You call me if there are any developments. Right. I've got some contacts on the Transglobal Board. Might give up some inside information. Wait, listen, listen. You're, what you're saying is this: all of this is contingent on this this fragment, this luggage fragment turning up, right? So they say, yes. So, so one that materialized up just out of thin air, right? Mm. I'd like to see this new evidence. I... Brooke, hold on. No, I mean, you know, if you're calling in a favor. I... Don't say anything else, Brooke. I'll ask him exactly where it is. What do you hope to prove by looking at a piece of charred luggage? Well, that it exists, for starters. So, if it does? Aren't you as anxious to see this as I am? As you think you are. How are you going to feel when you actually see it? Do you remember how horrified you were when you heard the recording from the black box and saw the pictures I took at the crash site? I haven't forgotten all that. 
Things were different then, and I was different then. I'm better now. I really am, and a lot of it is due to you. No, I'm not looking to take credit. I'm not looking to give credit. I'm looking for the truth. I owe it to Maria to stay on this. Jim, we owe this to ourselves. So what are you thinking? Never mind, I already know. If this pans out, and Julia was right, Maria was tired. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, okay? Like the authorities are working on it. We don't need to sit here and speculate and worry ourselves to death. What we need are facts, proof. Okay, my contact confirmed everything. It's legit. He even told me where the fragment's being stored. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Let's... You know, security's going to be tight on this thing. We might not even get into the front door. Is your car parked out here? Why don't we follow you? All right, all right. I'll meet you in front. I'll call you. Okay. Listen, I'm going to let you know if I whatever I hear, all right? And don't worry. Need some help with that? No, what I need is for this to be over. Completely over. What we both need. I can handle this. I swear. No, I don't doubt that. You're an amazing woman. But when are we going to get back to our amazing lives? Soon. But we have to follow through with this. I mean, at least I do. If, if you need some distance, no, I understand. No, no, I'm not going anywhere. You're not getting rid of me that easy. We're in this from the beginning together, right? Oh, if you want to help me, carry this. Yes. Is that the light one? <laughs> oh, thank you. I can't accept this, Liza. I can't believe that this is actually the end for us. Especially now, my life has been handed back to me. Has it? Yes, 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 it has. I can actually sleep through the night now. My directive didn't cause those deaths. It wasn't my fault. You could have grounded the planes after you found out. I tried to ground them. I, I, well, I grounded them one by one. I just, the, the, the odds were a million to one that there would be another accident. I gambled. And I lost. We both lost. Asa, is that the insurmountable obstacle? The impenetrable barrier between us? If you just would have told me. If you just would have trusted me. You, you don't know how. I was learning how, with you. It doesn't count until it really matters. It's all moot until it really matters. And then you have to step up and act on your fears, on your demons, on your love. And you couldn't do that with me. I will not live my life around if I only. If, if, if I only, if I only. When I, when I found out you were in the hospital, Adam, I really tried to delay the divorce papers. But, but you couldn't. No, I understand. I didn't know. If I had known, I would have never left you at the boathouse. But I'd lied to you before, hadn't I? I'd lied many times before. Please take care of yourself. Liza. Mr. Chandler, you called to make a statement? Can you uh, tell us what's your response to the recent uh, announcement concerning Transglobal 149? Goodbye. Excuse me. Do you feel vindicated? Are you aware that Chandler Enterprises is now up five points? What's 
next for you? Can we expect a reconciliation between you and Mrs. Chandler?